guys, welcome back to another Netflix movie streaming review and you can tell I'm wearing a Christmas jumper. It is so, so close to Christmas. The point this video is going to be released, it is five days till Christmas, which is mental. However, I watched Candy Cane Lane, which is a new Amazon Prime movie um, that has come out uh, recently this year. So, Candy Cane Lane, it is directed by Reginald... Hoodlin, 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 no idea. He has actually directed 14 movies and there's been a few with Eddie Murphy, um, one called Boomerang, which I've never seen. Um, but as I say, Candy Cane Lane stars Eddie Murphy. It is Eddie Murphy as a dad, basically. Candy Cane Lane is like a street, so there's a street um, and everyone like decorates their house like into like crazy Christmas vibes and all that. He basically... Um, is like a wood shop maker like he likes to like make his own stuff and the pe people that always win are always the people that just put no effort into it and just go and buy loads of stuff and you know whereas his stuff is like quality and made by him made with love and all that jazz anyways he decides i want to win this year and he goes to this shop and buys this um decoration tree thing and that decoration turns into absolute carnage and the story then kind of goes off a bit weird so for me christmas with the cranks is very much based on this type of story in my opinion christmas with the cranks is all about you know you've got to put your frosty on the roof <laughs> Um, for the street, for the community, for those vibes. And it started like that. I was like, oh, this could be a really good thing. But when this decoration got involved and then all these little animals and stuff went off the rails and that, and by the way, the CGI of those animals was goddamn awful. When that actually happened, it really put me off. It really did unsettle me a little bit. I was a bit like, oh, why has it gone down this route more fantasy rather than, you know, real life? Granted, it's a Christmas film. Don't get me wrong. But it just took me out of the moment. It started one way and went a different way, if that makes sense. Eddie Murphy, however, though, plays a father. He has, like, a younger child, like a daughter. And then they have, like, two older children, which one of them is going to uni. The other one's, like, into his music. They're, like, teenagers. Um, yeah, so as a family, they come together to try and get all these things. And the actual animals that are, like, running riot and stuff that he needs to find, he needs to find them because if he doesn't find them, he will turn into this... Um, China doll thing um, on this miniature Christmas set which I thought was hilarious like the whole like some of the jokes and stuff and well not so much jokes but like every time that they would start talking and say a certain word then these like singers would start to sing a Christmas word so like oh her name's Joy Joy to the world like like that it was honestly I was I was like wetting myself with laughter it was really funny so he's gonna turn into one of them if he doesn't actually get all these things and now the whole thing is all about the 12 days of Christmas so you know uh, 12 geese are laying five gold rings all of those things that they need to find they need to find those So five gold rings you know it's one of the prominent ones that they need to get um, and then it's all because this person that's in there is like an elf um, and she's played by somebody I actually recognise but I don't know her name let me just go on to the thing she is uh, Gillian Bell she plays Pepper so she plays like a little elf that runs a store that sold um, it to to him um, and basically you know he's going to trap him in her little village if she, he, she, the time doesn't hit it's a fun film. It's a fun Christmas film, but it, it kind of went a bit far-fetched towards the end for me, and the CGI just took me out of the film. Um, so in terms of my score for the film, I actually did give it a, uh, a three-star. I was torn. I was thinking I want to give it a lot lower, but I, I couldn't ignore the fact that the first hour, I did really enjoy it. Like, I probably would have given that, like, a four, and then I probably would give the end of it, like, a two. So we found ourselves in the middle at a number three. So, um, yeah, it's a good film. Like, it was, it was a good laugh. I had a good time with it. Um, it's one of those that, like, I can't wait to watch it next year. Like, I'm not going to watch it this year, but can't wait to just watch it next year now when Christmas is on and on. And I will definitely go to it. It's one that I'd look at and think, you know what? I've seen that. It's good laugh. I'm going to go, I'll go again for it type of thing. I wouldn't dismiss it, if you know what I mean. Um, but at the same time, it's not one of my favourites out there at all. So it is one of those difficult ones that I need to, to maybe watch again and again and again. And over time, maybe now the fact that I know about it, maybe I'll love it and fall in love with it, you know. But yeah, there we go, guys. There is my review of Candy Cane Lane. Let me know your thoughts down below. Have you seen it? Um, have I convinced you that you should try to check it out? I think everyone should check it out. But just bear in mind, go into it with an open mind. Um, I think for me, I, I maybe ruined that for myself a little bit. But definitely check it out. I 100% would recommend. Um, let me know your thoughts down below if you have seen it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.